We're going now to the Southern White House. We have a lot of work we're going to be doing in Florida. We had great, uh, some really great election results, as you know. Uh, Georgia just came in, and that was a big success. Florida was a tremendous success with both the governor, Ron DeSantis, he'll be a great governor, and the senator, Rick Scott. And as you know, Ohio was a great victory. We had a lot of great victories, so we're very happy about that. Uh, we put out a statement on Saudi Arabia, which I guess most of you have seen, and we'll see how that all works out. It's a very complex situation. It's a shame, but it's, it is what it is. Because it's America first for me. It's all about America first. We're not going to give up hundreds of billions of dollars in orders and let Russia, China, and everybody else have them. It's all about, for me, very simple. It's America first. Uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, if we broke with them, I think your oil prices would go through the roof. I've kept them down. They've helped me keep them down. Right now we have low oil prices, or relatively, I'd like to see it go down even lower. lower. But I think that it's a very simple equation for me. I'm about make America great again, and I'm about America first. Are you, are, you basically us, are you basically telling us, Mr. President, that human rights are too expensive? That what? That human rights are too expensive. No, I'm not saying that at all. If you look at Iran, just take a look at Iran, and you look at what they're doing. They are a terrorist nation right now. Although I must tell you, they're a lot better right now than they were when I took office. When I took office, they were heading in a very, very bad direction. And at some point, things po very positive, frankly, could happen with Iran, but we also need a counterbalance. And Israel needs help also. If we abandon Saudi Arabia, it would be a terrible mistake. <laughs> I really can't understand what you're saying. Sorry. The Washington Post, in a statement, put out a statement. They said that you're putting your personal interests, your commercial interests. Well, I have nothing to do with Saudi. So just so you understand, I don't make deals with Saudi Arabia. I don't have money from Saudi Arabia. I have nothing to do with Saudi Arabia. I couldn't care less. And I will tell you, and as most of you know, being president has cost me a fortune, and that's okay with me. I knew that a long time ago. But being president has cost me a fortune, a tremendous fortune like you've never seen before. But someday I'll tell you what that is. But, and I knew that a long time ago because I don't do deals. I don't do, all I do is focus on this country and making great deals for this country. I don't focus on making great deals for myself because I don't care anymore. So Saudi Arabia has nothing to do with me. What does have to do with me is putting America first. Wait, 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 wait. They're buying hundreds of billions of dollars worth of things from this country. If I say we don't want to take your business, if I say we're going to cut it off, they will get the equipment, military equipment and other things from Russia and China. Russia and China would be very, very happy because right now we're doing very well against China. We're doing very well against everybody, including Russia, and I'm gonna keep it that way. And I'm not gonna tell a country that's spending hundreds of billions of dollars and has helped me do one thing very importantly, keep oil prices down so that they're not going to 100 and $150 a barrel. Right now, we have oil prices in great shape. I'm not gonna destroy the world economy and I'm not going to destroy the economy for our country by being foolish with Saudi Arabia. So I think the statement, wait a minute, I think the statement uh, was pretty obvious what I said. It's about America first. Yeah. Are you Are you Say it again. Why was it appropriate for your daughter to use personal email for Just so you understand, early on and for a little period of time, Ivanka did some emails. Uh, they weren't classified like Hillary Clinton. Yep. They weren't deleted like Hillary Clinton, who deleted 33. She wasn't hiring. She wasn't doing anything to hide her emails. I looked at it just very briefly today, and the presidential records, they're all in presidential records. There was no hiding. There was no deleting like Hillary Clinton did. 
There was no service in the basement like Hillary Clinton had. You're talking about a whole different, you're talking about all fake news. So what Ivanka did, it's all in the presidential records.